Good evening students, this is Dr. Bithul Asif, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Vignans Nirula Institute of Technology and Sciences for Women. In the last class, we have seen about the UNPTEL OAD, Enrollment and Assignment 0. And still, there is time to enroll for OAD. The last date for enrolling is 21-9-2020. And uh, for OAD, UNPTEL is providing certificate from IIT Kharagpur. So, which is very valid certificate and uh, it obviously adds a weightage to your ratio. And uh, today I am going to explain about assignment 1. Let us start the questions one by one. Coming to the first question. Which of the following are elements of complex software system? Here we are having four options. Complexity of the problem domain, flexibility of software, Uses of software, input to software. As we know that there are four elements of complexity. They are the complexity of the problem domain, the difficulty of managing the development process, the flexibility possible through software, the problems of characterizing the behavior of discrete systems. And uh, options A and B are the correct options. Coming to the second question. The major issues of understanding the problem domain of a co complex software are there are four options, communication gap between the user and developer, large code size, changing requirements, distributed development. And uh, as we know that the complexity of the problem domain mainly depends on domains are difficult to understand, communication gap between users and developers, changing or evolving requirements during development, large capital investments. Coming to the correct options, A and C. The third question, which of the following statements are correct with respect to the hierarchical structure of a complex system? So coming to the options, in a hierarchical structure, each layer should be independently understandable. In a hierarchical structure, layers should not have any shared properties or common services. In a hierarchical structure, layers are built on the top of other layers or support other layers. A man-made complex system can be divided into layers, but not the natural complex system. As we know that each level of hierarchy represents a layer of abstraction. Each layer is built on the top of the other layers, supports other layers, is independently understandable, works independently with the clear separation of concerns. And coming to the options, the options A and C are the correct options. Option D. Coming to the option D. A man-made complex system can be divided into layers but not the natural complex system. So, in the universe, every complex system is a complex system whether it is a man-made or natural system. Everything will be divided into layers. So, the option D is not correct. Coming to the question 4. Which of the following x, y pairs denote a decomposition? x has a y. Coming to the options, country India, India country, camera lens, bird wings. As we know that complexity can be handled by using two types of hierarchies. There are many types of hierarchies. And we are going to study about decomposition hierarchy and abstraction hierarchy. Decomposition hierarchy is also known as part of hierarchy or as a type of hierarchy. Abstraction hierarchy is also known as is a type of hierarchy. Has a is also known as part of relationship. Here if you see that camera has lens, birds has wings. We can't say India has country. We can say India is a country. So we can't uh, take option A for this country is a India. We can't say like that country has a India. We can't say like that. So coming to the options, C and D are the correct options. Coming to the fifth question, identify the correct statements. Separation of concern is very important in designing the subsystems of a complex system independently. B. Complex systems do not have any common patterns. C. A complex system always matures from one stable intermediate form to next. The intracomponent linkage is weaker than intracomponent linkage of a subsystems of a complex system. Coming to the attributes, we know that hierarchical structure, relative primitive, separation of concerns, common patterns, stable intermediate forms. So separation of concern is one of the important 
attribute for the complexity designing. So, option A is the correct answer. Complex systems do not have common patterns, but every complex system will have some common patterns because then only we can reuse the system. So, B can't be the correct answer. A complex system always may choose from one stable state intermediate form to next. It is true because based on the refinement and iteration, we'll uh, refine the step by step. So, from one step to another step, the complex system will mature. So, this is true. And the intracomponent linkage is weaker than, it is not weaker, it is stronger than intracomponent linkages. So, option D also wrong. So, the correct answers are A and C. Coming to the sixth question. The choice of relative primitive depends on, here we know that the subjective choice of relative primitive strongly depends on the experience and expertise of the designer. Coming to the option, we have four options. The choice of the process for computation, experience and expertise of the designer, the limitation of the programming language, none of these. So, if you see the subjective choice, it matches with the B option. So, the correct answer is B. And next is coming to the seventh option, seventh question. Identify the correct statement. Every object have its own unique behavior. That is true. Algorithmic decomposition highlights order of events. That also true. In object-oriented decomposition, the basic computing model is client-server. This is true because every object will communicate with one another, uh, one another as a client-server approach. One object will act as a client and it requests the services to the server. And one object will act as a server and it uh, grants the services. And uh, we can't say this object will act as only the client or that object will act as only the server. Sometimes they interchange. Every object may act sometimes as a client and sometimes as a server. When it requests the services, it acts as a client. When it grants the services, then it acts as a server. So all of these. The option is all of these. Coming to the next 8 to 10th questions, we have the common data. If you see the question, it seems to be large. But if you understand the question, that is very simple. The major components of the operators of the programming languages are listed below. Build them in a natural hierarchy to answer the following question. Because the given they given the uh, components in a alphabetical order. But we need to construct it with a hierarchy. So, you can construct the operators hierarchy. Operators, in this we are having arithmetic, logic, relational. In this we are having options add, multiply, subtract and are greater than, less than. These are the options uh, taken from the question only. I have not drawn by my own. Based on the question, I have uh, created a natural hierarchy. So, based on this hierarchy, we are going to answer the 8, 9, 10 questions. So, coming to the 8th question, how many top level components of the operator group are described above? So, what are the top level components means? Arithmetic, logical and relational. So, there are 3 components. So, next coming to the ninth question, how many building blocks components of the operator group are described below? So, leaf level. So, if you see the hierarchy, we are having 5 plus 2, 7. So, the answer, option is 7. Coming to the last question, identify the correct hierarchies among the components of the operator group. So, if you see add arithmetic operator logical end, that is not, if you see the hierarchy, that is not there in the hierarchy. Add arithmetic is there. But a logical one is not there. Logical end. So, greater than relational operator. So, greater than is a relational operator. So, that is there. Greater than is not a logical operator. So, we can't take that hierarchy. Logical end is a logical operator. So, we can consider this hierarchy. So, the correct options are B and D. So, this is regarding the assignment one. If you have any doubts regarding this assignment one, you can give messages in the comment box. So, that if uh, any mistakes from my side, I will correct them. Thank you so much and uh, wait for the second assignment. Till then, share, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.